actually, of course, it's Mom who takes care of both. For baby, naturally the best. And for that other member of the family, again the best. America's most trusted dog food, kennel ration. Every can of kennel ration is packed with nourishing lean red meat from the choice cuts of U.S. government-inspected horse meat. It contains other essential ingredients and is fortified with every vitamin and mineral. Every nutrient a dog is known to need. Chlorophyllin, too. Yes, your dog's a member of the family, too. Give him health and happiness with Kennel Ration, America's most trusted dog food. Boy, that Professor Fairchild is a grouch. Well, it's your own fault, Wally. Well, just the same, he didn't have to single me out in front of the whole class. That was darn embarrassing. Besides, it was as much his fault as it was mine. Well, how do you figure that? Well, he gives those dull lectures and that monotone of his. I wasn't the only one that was nodding a little. No, but you were the only one who was snoring. <laughs> just the same, he's still a grouch. Shh, not so loud. His daughter just walked in. Oh, yeah, Betty. You know her? Well, sure, do you? Well, yeah, I've taken her out a couple of times. Matter of fact, I asked her out last Saturday night, but she already had a date. Yeah, I know. You mean you're the guy? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll say this much for you. You sure have good taste. I don't know what happened to hers. I <laughs> will resent that. What's the idea of taking her out? You trying to move in on my territory? Your territory? <laughs> Boy, that's a laugh. You want to step outside, or shall we discuss this like gentlemen? I'll tell you what. We'll just see who she pays the most attention to at her birthday party. Birthday party? Oh, weren't you invited? Well, no. Not yet, anyway. When is it? Tonight. Tonight? Oh, well, that's the way it goes, old man. But don't worry, there'll be other girls and other parties. Come on, shall we go? Hmm? Oh, yeah, let's go. You realize, of course, Betty means more to me than she does to you. Well, how do you figure that out? Well, my grades are a little shaky in her father's class. You mean you're only interested in this girl because her father's your history professor? Well, no, but that's an extra added attraction. Are you sure you didn't make this whole thing up about the birthday party? Hi, Dave, Wally. Well, hi, Betty. Well, hi, Betty. Are you going to be able to come to my party tonight? Well, I don't know. Am I invited? Well, of course. Didn't you tell him, Wally? Tell me what? Well, I asked him to invite you if he saw you. <laughs> well, I was just going to do that right now. Well, he did sort of mention something about the party. Then you'll come? Uh, I'd love to. Oh, that's fine. It starts at 8. I'll see you then. Okay. Bye. 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 Well, all fair in love and war. <laughs> oh. I think under the circumstances, it might be nice if you paid the check. Oh, yeah, why don't I uh, uh, pay the check? Oh, yes. Yeah, oh, the, uh, the, uh... <laughs> Oh, for me? It's the bridge prize for tonight. How's it look? Very nice. Would you like me to tell you what's in it? Well, let me guess. It's heavy, and, and it's liquid, and it's for the ladies' bridge group. It's a bottle of booze. <laughs> All right. It's a bottle of cologne. Well, that makes a very nice prize. Well, I couldn't think of anything else. Well, I say it's very nice. Hi, Mom. Hi, Pop. Oh, hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. How are things going to school? Oh, OK. Did you learn anything today? I sure did. I found out Wally's been going out with the same girl I've been going out with. Who's that? Betty. Oh, you mean Betty Grant? No, Betty Fairchild. Oh, you mean that blonde? No, she has dark brown hair. Oh, is that real tall girl? No, she's about 5'4". <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, yeah, I know the girl you mean. Oh, you've never met her, Pop. Oh? Now, who's this tall blonde named Betty Grant? <laughs> I refuse to answer that on the grounds you might beat me up. <laughs> no, it's the booby prize for the bridge party tonight. Oh, more cologne, huh? What else? That reminds me, I have to pick up a birthday present. Who for? Uh, for Betty. She invited me over to her house for a birthday party tonight. How long before dinner? Oh, you've got plenty of time. Good, I think I'll go downtown then. What are you going to get for her? Well, I don't know yet, but I'd like to get her something nice. I'll see you in a little while. Okay, Bye, dear. Bye, Pop. So long, Dave. Well, this is out of the way. I better start thinking about dinner. Hey! No, it's not for you, and yes, it is cologne. <laughs> what I put my foot into now?
can I help you? Oh, yeah, maybe you can. I'm looking for a gift, something a little different. For a young lady? Yeah. Well, have you seen these shorty nightgowns? They're very popular. Oh, well, it's not for my wife, it's for an acquaintance. I'm not married. Well, you're young yet. You have a lot of time. It's a gift for a birthday present. Do you have anything at all in mind? Well, I'd like something that's pretty nice and not too expensive. Well, let's see. We have some very nice gloves. Uh, gee, I, I don't know her size. Well, how about some perfume? Yeah, that's an idea. Do you have any preference? Well, I really don't know too much about it. Well, there are various kinds. This one is very popular. It's very light and delicate. Mm-hmm. Of course, there are a lot of people who like something with a little heavier fragrance. Mm-hmm. Which one do you prefer? Well, to tell you the truth, I can't tell the difference. You know something? I can't either. <laughs> Maybe we better forget about the perfume anyway. I don't want to give her anything to attract more guys. I've got enough competition as it is. I'm sure you haven't. <laughs> uh, uh, do you have any other suggestions? Well, how about a locket or something in costume jewelry? Oh, well, that might be a little personal. Say, if she has a sense of humor, this might appeal to her. Watch, I'll show you how it works. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I'm afraid she might misunderstand, though. You see, I really don't know her too well. Well, then here's an idea. We have some awfully cute stuffed animals. Do you think she might like something like that? Yeah, that sounds good. Where are they? Right over here. Here we are. Little bear and little tiger. Which one do you like? Gee, they're both kind of cute. Which one do you like best? I like the tiger. Now, I think I like the bear. But if you like the tiger, she'd probably like it, too. Oh, will you excuse me a minute? I'll be right back. Sure. Hey, yeah, careful. He may bite. Uh -huh. okay. What are you doing here? I'm buying a tiger. Oh. Well, I'm a teddy bear man myself. Uh, it's for Betty's birthday party. Well, you're not going to give her that, are you? Sure. What's wrong with it? Well, nothing's wrong with it. That's what's wrong with it. What are you talking about? Well, you know darn well what I'm talking about. Of all the dirty, underhanded tricks to pull, everyone else is giving her a dollar gag present, and you're trying to be the big hero by giving her that. Dollar gag present? Well, this is the first time I heard about that. Now, a likely story. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to beat my time with Betty. I am not. I didn't even know about it. Yeah, I'll bet. As a matter of fact, I'm glad you told me. I'd have felt kind of silly showing up with a nice present like this when everybody else is giving gag gifts. Well, I guess you would at that. Maybe I shouldn't have told you. It's too late now. Now then, which will it be, the tiger or the bear? Uh, gee, I'm sorry. I don't think I'll take either one. You see, I just found out that we're supposed to give gag gifts for a dollar. Oh. I'm sorry, I hope I didn't take up too much of your time. Oh, no, that's perfectly all right. Why don't you try the novelty shop next door? Okay, I think I'll do that. Thank you. I'm sure you'll find something there. Come on, Wally. <laughs> Say goodbye to your cousins and let's go. Huh? Oh. Yeah, well, so long, fellas. Keep up the good work. Hi, Mom. Well, hi. That didn't take you very long. What'd you get for Betty? An exploding book. Oh, that's nice. An exploding book? <laughs> Will you let that book alone, Rick? What are you trying to do? Wear the thing out? Why don't you grow up and act your age? Oh. You pop. I just want to make sure it'd work. <laughs> I thought it was kind of appropriate since her father's a history professor. You're not going to oh. give that exploding book to Betty, are you? Well, yeah, that's the whole idea. We're supposed to give gag gifts. Well, at least you could get her something sophisticated, like a shrunken head or something. <laughs> okay, wrap yours up and I'll take it. <laughs> now, I think this exploding book's a good idea. It's original. Well, anyway, I'm glad I bumped into Wally. And it sure felt pretty silly if I were the only one to give her a legitimate gift. Oh, uh, uh, Harriet, here come your guests. Oh, hi, hi, Sally. How are you? Bye, the may I take your coat? Oh, thanks. I'll put it over here. Oh, hi, Sally. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. What's the bully prize, Cologne? <laughs> you wait. May I help you with your coat? Oh, thank you, David. I understand you're going to Betty Fairchild's birthday party tonight. Yes, I am. Looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Wally got her the cutest gift. Oh, what is it? It's one of those darling little toy tigers. <laughs> toy tiger? Uh-huh. Well, I thought we were only supposed to give gag gifts for a dollar. Who told you that? Wally. Oh, 
you must be mistaken. Wally spent two days looking for something nice. <laughs> well, I'd better join the girls. Have a good time at the party. Oh, thank you. How about that Wally? Yeah. The double crosser. I'll be the only guy there with a gag present. What am I going to do now? What's wrong, eh? Well, his exploding book just blew up in his face. <laughs> Jemima presents Peggy and Chuck. Let's join them for breakfast. Couple of hungry characters here. Hey, what's that? Well, those are apple rings. This is pancake batter, and that's sausage. Hey, that might be pretty good. Pretty good. Wait till you try it. There's a batch already. Mm, hey, these are good. Where'd you get this idea? Maxine had over here. We have a very clever mommy. Try Peggy's new way to serve Aunt Jemima's. First, saute some apple rings and place on the griddle. Next, pour on the Aunt Jemima pancake batter. Then add your favorite sausages. Aunt Jemima, perfect pancakes in 10 shakes. <laughs> Well, Dave, I thought you were at the party. I couldn't get another present. The Emporium was closed. Oh, well, why didn't you try the drugstore? You could have picked up something there. I guess I could have at that. I was just so darn mad I wasn't thinking. I must be closed by now, too. That darn Wally. <laughs> well, don't get upset. We'll figure something out. Here, have a sandwich. Leave those sandwiches alone. <laughs> How can your mother concentrate on playing bridge in the den and know we're stealing sandwiches out here in the kitchen? <laughs> I should have known Wally was up to something. Hey, wait a minute, here's an idea. Your mother bought this bottle of cologne for a booby prize for the women's bridge party. Why don't you take this? Well, what's Mom going to do? Well, I can find something else around the house. Maybe I can find the, the booby prize she won at the last bridge party. <laughs> I'm sure, it's all right. Well, sure, it'll make a nice present. All right, I'll see you later. Okay, have a good time. Ozzy? Hey, Wally. Oh, I'll take it, Fred. We're putting the gifts right here. Hi, Wally. Oh, hi, Dave. Oh, I see you got a gift. Yep. Is it funny? Well, you may not think so. Well, we'll put it right down here. Well, good evening, David. Oh, hello, Professor. It's a very nice party. Yes, I think it's a wonderful party. Well, I'm glad you like it, Professor. I kind of planned the whole thing. Oh, well, uh, good for you, Wally. Yes, I must say, when Wally takes charge of a party, he just forgets everything else. So if he's been neglecting his history assignments lately, I hope you'll understand. Oh, David's quite a kidder, isn't he, Professor? <laughs> oh, is he? I hadn't noticed. <laughs> Excuse me, I see we have some more guests. Oh, hi, Betty. Hi, Betty. I believe this is our dance? Uh, no, it's ours. Why would I want to dance with you? Well, you're pretty funny this evening, aren't you, David? Uh, would you mind stepping aside? <laughs> Six spades. I double. Redouble. I double the redouble. <laughs> oh, Claire, you can't do that. Why not? Do you know what I've got in my hand? No. Well, then I double the redouble. Uh, Harriet, may I speak to you for just a moment, please? All right, now, dear Claire, just double Sally's redouble. Well, uh, Claire, you can't do that. Why not? Do you know what I've got in my hand? Uh, uh, yes. Did I make a mistake? Oh, <laughs> well, I, I, I really, uh, 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 pardon me, uh, just a moment. <laughs> no fighting now till I get back. What's the matter? Well, I just wanted you to know I let Dave take the present you had. What present? Well, uh, the booby prize. See, he, he wasn't able to buy a present, so I thought the bottle of cologne would make a nice gift for Betty. Oh, that wasn't cologne. That was the exploding book. <laughs> Well, when David said he wasn't going to use it, I thought I'd make a perfect booby prize, so I gift-wrapped it and left it in the kitchen. Oh. Gee, I'd better warn him. <laughs> 
Yeah, you'd better. What happened? We decided to replay the hand. Uh, uh, Rick, are you busy right now? No. Uh, would you take this cologne over to Betty's house and give it to David? Sure, why? Uh, well, uh, remember, he, he thought he was supposed to bring a, a gag present over there, and, and he bought the exploding book. But then it turned out he was supposed to bring a regular gift, uh, but he, he took the exploding book over there anyway. Gee, when David gets an idea, he really sticks to it, doesn't he? Well, no, it was a mistake. He just uh, got the wrong package. Uh, you know where Betty lives, don't you? Yeah. Uh, you better put a coat and tie on. Hello? Uh, this is Mr. Nelson. May I speak to Dave, please? Oh, yes, Mr. Nelson. Just a minute. Dave! Your father wants to speak to you. Oh, thanks. What's the matter, Pop? Uh, 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 Dave, you've got the wrong present. What? You thought you took the bottle of cologne, but it's the exploding book. The, how did that happen? Well, uh, it, it's, it's kind of a long story, but anyway, don't let Betty open the present until Ricky gets there. It, it'll explode. <laughs> Well, what's he got to do with it? Well, see, he's bringing the, the bottle of cologne over to you. Oh. Well, gee, thanks a lot, Pop. Hey, everybody. Everybody, attention. I think it's time for Betty to open her gift. What do you say? Uh, Pop, I have to hang up. Uh, what's the matter? Well, well they're going to open the gifts. Well, don't let them. I, I told you it's the exploding book. Pop, will you let me hang up? Okay, and, and listen, Dave, Rick should be there any minute. Okay, Pop, thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. Well, go ahead, Betty. Open your presents now. Gee, everything looks so beautiful. I don't know where to start. Hey, hey wait a second. I have an idea. Hey, listen, it's no fun opening all the presents at once. Who says it isn't? Well, I just think it would be more fun if she opened them one at a time. Then after you've opened a present, have a dance with the fellow that brought you the present. <laughs> well, supposing it's a girl. Well, then she just dances with the fellow that brought the girl that gave the present. <laughs> No, no, wait a minute. I think Dave's suggestion sounds like a lot of fun, don't you? Sure. Yeah. Okay, here's one from Dave. Oh, that's no fair. It was my idea. Let's see, here's one from uh, Fred. The worst friend. Well, here I am. Yeah. Oh, look, it's beautiful. Oh, oh thanks, Fred. Can I have this dance? Yeah. Sure. Uh, is David around? Well, yeah, why? Well, he took the wrong present, and it would be kind of embarrassing if he gave this to Betty. Oh. Well, it's kind of noisy in there. Now, what's about the present? Well, uh, see, he took an exploding book instead of this cologne. An exploding book? See, that would have been kind of embarrassing. Well, I'll take care of it for you. Oh, make sure you give it to David personally, will you? You can trust me, Rick. Good night. <laughs> hi, Rick. Oh, hi, Betty. Happy birthday. Thank you. Why don't you come in and join the party? Oh, well, she's probably busy. Are you? Well, no, not especially. Well, come on in, then. Well, he's not exactly dressed for a party. Well, he looks all right to me. Come on in. Oh, thank you. How long you been here? Oh, a couple minutes. Where's the present? I gave it to Wally. What'd you do that for? Well, he said he'd give it to you. You mean he did it? Well, of course not. Don't you understand what he's trying to do? I don't understand anything about this whole deal. Well, it's very simple. He's trying to double-cross me again. Well, let's go get the cologne back from him. Well, it's too late now. He's probably hidden it. Let's make him tell us where it is. No, I got a better idea. Come on. My sister picked it up, but I paid for it. Okay. Oh, I can't dance very well. Oh, sure you can. Come on. Betty. Will you look at this? Oh, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Who gave me this? Yeah, look at the card. 
to Betty from David. Oh. Oh. Thank you. I'm glad you liked it. I guess this is our dance. Yes, it is. Hi, Wally. How are you doing? Oh, fine, Rick. That's a pretty nice present David got Betty, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can hardly wait to see what you're going to give her. Uh, well, uh... Oh, is that your present right there? Uh, well, yeah. Well, let's put it on the pile. But Rick, Rick... Oh, uh, here we go. Oh, well, thanks, Rick. Uh, say, how about some punch? Oh, great. Well, fine. Would you get me some, too? Uh, on second thought, I think I'll just stand here and watch him dance for a while. Say, why don't you dance? Oh, uh, no, I want to stay here with you, Walt. Well, I don't mind. Oh, no, thanks. No, really, I don't mind. No, it's too late anyway. The dance is over. Well, let's see where the next present's from. Oh, here it is. It's from Wally. Oh, no, 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 no. no. What's the matter? Don't you want her to open your present? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. well, well, yeah, sure, but I think it might be better if you didn't open it right now. Why? Oh. It smells wonderful. Oh, uh, Wally. Look, it's cologne. Oh. If you're looking for the exploding book, I switched the packages. You don't deserve it, but I'm in a charitable mood. Oh, Dave, thank you. Thanks a lot. By the way, I'm taking Betty out after the party, too. Oh, swell. Thank you for the cologne, Wally. Shall we dance? Uh, well, Dave, why don't you take my dance with Betty? Well, thank you, Wally. <laughs> Report on American history. Is that about American history, Wally? Oh, hello, Professor. Oh, don't get embarrassed, Wally. Oh, who's embarrassed? You know, Wally's really a very serious student. There aren't many fellows who'd come to a party and bring a history book with him. <laughs> Show the Professor, Wally. Yes, let me take a look at it, Wally. Oh, well, it's not really a very good book, Professor. Thank you. Hey, Ricky, where's Wally? Oh, he's in there. The Professor insisted on looking at the book Wally had. Uh-oh. Looks interesting. A report on American history. What's that? Well, unless your father has a sense of humor, that's Wally flunking history. <laughs> Next week, Ozzie and Harriet. Ozzie and Harriet have been brought to you tonight by the Quaker Oats Company. Quaker. Producers of more than 50 foods for the family. Next time you shop, try one of the many fine products of the Quaker Oats Company. David may currently be seen in two outstanding motion pictures. The Big Circus, in which he plays the part of a trapeze artist, and Day of the Outlaw. Also, be sure to get Ricky's new sensational album, Songs by Ricky. It's great entertainment for the whole family. America is more than a place, it's a people. How does the future look for the 11,000 new Americans born every day? It couldn't look better with more factories producing more goods for more people. For this free booklet, Your Great Future in a Growing America, drop a card to Advertising Council, Box 1776, Grand Central Station, New York 17, New York. This has been an ABC Television Network film presentation.